Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to show you how we do our macaws toenails. Now you may be wondering why am I on the floor? One of the techniques that you can use to do your toenails I find is much easier on the floor. It's not something I have to do personally because my macaws are actually really good with us messing with their feet, but I'm going to show you if you have a bird that you can't mess with their feet and do their toenails a way that you can do it safely. So what are you going to need to do your bird's nails? You may need a towel, nail files, these are just normal human nail files, a good pair of nail clippers, these are just like dog or cat nail clippers, they're stainless steel. I prefer these much better than human nail clippers. The human ones I feel like almost pinches their nails. This, especially when they're really sharp, you can almost shave off the nails and that way you can always take off a little bit, a little bit, a little bit so you're never taking off too much. And then as a just in case, you want something in case you hit the quick. The quick is what supplies the blood to the nail. So if you hit that, they're going to bleed. Now I do have this styptic powder. There is a debate on whether or not this is actually bird safe. Some of the vets I've talked to said it is. It does say safe for dogs, cats, and birds. But I have read online that if you put this on them and then they get it in their beaks, it's not good for them. You can use cornstarch or flour as an alternative. All right, so you want to compare the photos in the diagram to your parrot standing on a flat surface like a table. The picture on the left shows when the toenails are too long, the actual toe itself will not sit flat on that flat surface. So you can actually see it arch up a little bit. The picture on the right shows that if the toenails are the correct length, the actual toes themselves will sit flat along the flat table. Now, if you haven't been doing their toenails often, the quick, the part that actually causes the bleeding, may be too far to the point that you can't actually get them to the right length in one try. This means you should be trying to do their nails once a week, and you're going to keep taking it off, and as you make them shorter and shorter, that quick, that blood supply, will actually recede back further into the toenail. So you should be able to get a little shorter every time you do the nail. Again, if your toenails are super, super long, don't try making them the, the correct length right out of the gate because you will make your bird bleed. All right, so I have a towel, I have a bird. We're gonna make a birdie burrito. Set bird on towel. <laughs> Rap bird. Now you have birdie burrito. So my bird is here. <laughs> and now you get to play the fun game of find the foot. Head is sticking out so Birdie can breathe. Huh? Find the foot. I know. I have feet. So now you should be able to get to the little toes. So I already did some of these, so I don't need to do them all. But And take the tip. Now we're gonna go for the other foot. <laughs> All right, so I got the other foot here, and we're just gonna take the tip off. This one I already did. So, 
And then we unwrap our birdie burrito. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, definitely give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. It really does help. And if you want to get notified when we do more pet videos, hit the little notification bell. Thanks for watching today. Yeah? Do you want them to subscribe? Yeah? Say subscribe. <laughs> Bye.